Hello, fourth grade friends. Today we are doing the second part of our lesson, uh, unit three, lesson two. So in our first part, we talked about mostly the place value sections method, but today we're gonna focus more on this expanded notation method. So when we did this, um, remember we had, say for this example, we had our dividend, the number that's getting divided, inside starting in the hundreds place we did our hundreds tens and ones place value sections we put our divisor the side left side and then we asked ourselves okay how many hundreds do you multiply by six to get close to but not over 738 so we thought 100 well that's pretty close 200 that's too much and then we figured out the 100, then we found the difference, and then we asked our, we moved the difference over here, and we said, okay, how many tens do we multiply by six to get close to, but not over, uh, 138? <laughs> and then we figured out, okay, two tens, right, would be uh, 120, and we found the difference, and we moved that over, and then we said, okay, how many ones do we multiply by six to get close to, but not over? 18 and then we got three and then we added all those up we're doing the same questions but we're just writing it down differently so here you're looking at your 700 and you're asking yourself okay how many hundreds do I multiply six by to get close to but not over 700 and you have down here 100 and you write the full 100 and you write down what six times 100 is underneath and you find the difference and then you ask yourself how many um, tens do I need to multiply to get close to but not over 138? You say two tens, 20, and you write that underneath the 20 times six right here. You find the difference, and then you ask yourself, okay, how many ones do I need to multiply get, to get close to but not over 18? And you write the three above. And then you have this sort of stacked version of 120 and three which then you can easily smush back together to make 123. So this is what we're gonna focus on today, okay? So turn the page, we're on 105. All right, so we're gonna use that expanded notation method and that's why there's all this space above the division symbol. It says here, a toy company has 740 games to donate to different schools. Each school will receive four games. How many schools will receive games? So we'll write our number that's getting divided, 740, inside the box. Then we'll write four over here. And then we ask ourselves, how many hundreds do we need to multiply four by to get close to but not over 700? 100 is 400. Two hundreds would be 800. That's over. So we'll just do 100. Then we write down 400 and we find the difference. 0, 40, so 340. Now we ask ourselves how many tens do we multiply by 4 to get close to but not over 340? Well, 340 is like 34 tens. Hmm, what are my math facts? I know. Four times nine is 36, would that work? Not quite, but it's a good starting point because that's a little bit over. What about eight groups of four? Or eight groups of four? Eight groups of four will be 32. So eight tens times four would be 32 tens. So we'll put 80 there and we'll put 32 tens, 320, and we'll find the difference. And then we have zero to zero. Okay, now how many ones do we multiply four by to get 20? Five, and it's just 20. And so there's nothing left over, no remainder. So it's 185, right? All right, let's do this next one. A landscape architect designs a rectangular garden that is 1,232 square feet. It is eight feet wide. How long is the garden? Well, we know length times width. 
will give us the area. So the area divided by the width will give us the length, right? So 1,232, 8 over there. Okay, how many hundreds do I need to multiply 8 by to get 1,200? Well, 100 one times 8 is 800. 200 times 8 is 1,600. That's too high. So we'll do 100. Uh, and we'll put 800. And then we have 4, so 2, 30, and then 4. Now we ask ourselves, okay, how many tens do we multiply by 8 to get close to 43 tens, but not over? Well, 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. So 8 times 5 tens will be 40 tens, which is 400. 5 tens. Now we'll find the difference. So now we just have 32 left over. Eight times how many ones will get us 32? This is one of your math facts, so I hope you know it. Times four. 32. And then there's no remainder. So 150 and four is known as 154. Eight. And here we should say, All right, let's keep going. The convention center is expecting 1,434 people for an event. Since each table can seat six people, how many tables will this convention need, center need to set up? All right, so our number that's getting divided is the 1,434 people. Our number of dividing, our divisor, six, that's the number of pe people at each table. Now we can figure out how many tables. So, how many hundreds do we need to multiply by six to get close to but not over 1,400? Well, 100 times six is 600. That's less, but it seems kind of far. 200 times six is 1,200. That's pretty close, but 300 times six is 1,800. What should we use, 200 or 300? has to be 200, right? Because 300 is too high. So 200 will give us 1,200. Okay, then we find the difference. Four, three, two, okay. So 234. We ask ourselves, how many tens do we multiply by six to get close to but not over 234? So let's see. I know 6 times 5 is 30. That's too high. 6 times 4 is 24, which is just a little bit too high. So it has to be 6 times 3. So 3 tens will get us to 18 tens, which is 180. And then we'll subtract. Got to do a little ungrouping right here. That's okay. 13 minus 8 is and we have 54. Now we ask ourselves how many ones do we multiply by 6 to get 54? Nine. The math fact, right? Remainder. So we have 239, so 239 tables. All right. Number 10. An adult lion weighs an average of 375 pounds. An adult cub weighs an average of 3 pounds at birth. How many times more does the adult lion weigh than the lion cub weighs at birth? So we'll take our adult lion weight, 375, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> and then our cub weight, which is 3. 
and then we'll uh, go ahead through the division process to figure out our quotient. So how many hundreds do we need to multiply three by to get close to but not over 375? Just one, right? And that's 300. 100. It's a 300 multiplied by three. We'll find the difference. It's 75. How many tens do we need to multiply by three to get close to but not over? Uh, uh, 75. So three ten, uh, six ten. Two tens would be 60. Three tens would be 90. So we just need two tens. 20, which will get us 60. And then we have 15 left over. How many ones do we multiply by three to get 15? What times three is 15? Five. So 125 or Times. Righty, let's go ahead and turn that page. We're going to continue using that expanded notation method. Okay, this is a really important strategy for us to learn. So, um, I'm going to do this row with you, and then um, I'd like you to try these ones on your own. And uh, I'll go through and correct them with you, okay? So take a look at that first one. 552 divided by 3. How many hundred? Or 100, right? Because 200 would be... That would be 600, right? So 300. Two, Five, two, how many tens do we need to multiply by uh, three to get close to 25 tens? I know eight tens is multiplied by three would be 24 tens, so let's do that. Eight tens, 200, and then we have 12 left over. What do we multiply? Um, what do we multiply three by to get 12? Four. So it's just 184. And circle that answer because there's a lot going on. Okay, take a look at the next one. Number 12. 851 divided by seven. How many hundreds do we need to multiply by Seven to get close to but not over 800 just 100 right and that'll get us 700 find the difference then we have 151 from there what do you think 15 is a little bit bigger than 14 and 2 times 7 is 14 so 2 tens times 7 is 14 tens tens, 14 tens, 140, and then we have 11, and then we're going to um, how many uh, ones do we multiply it by 7 to get 11? Well, just 1. That'll give us seven. Then we'll have a remainder. I was just double checking. That's right. A remainder. Yeah. So we'll have seven, a remainder of four. So we'll have 121 remainder four. Okay. Then over here, this next one. Two goes into two hundred or sorry nine hundred seventy eight how many times so we have how many hundreds do you multiply two by to get close to but not over nine hundred I'm thinking four hundred will get us eight hundred 
do that. 400 because 500 will get us a thousand. That's too many. 800. Eight, seven, one. Okay, now two into 17. That'll be get 16 with eight tens. Eight tens. Eight tens. Eight left. Nine. And then no remainder in this one. Four hundred. I would like you to try the rest of these on your own. So pause the video. Go for it. If you need help, you know where to go. Ask your teacher, right? Um, I know I'm here for my class, and if any other teachers are using this, they're there for their class too. So you can go ahead and try these. Hit play when you're ready to see the answers, okay? All right, so 14, it's 200, and then 40, and then 4 for a total of 244 with a remainder of 3. You got that right, give yourself a star. If not, you can circle it, and you can bring that one to your teacher and ask what to do, right? Uh, number 15, it's 300, and then 60, and then 6. That gives us 366. No remainder there. Give yourself a star if you got it. Number 16 is 500, and then 80, and then 9, so 589. No remainders on that one. Give yourself a star if you got it. Okay. Number 17. 236. So 236. Give yourself a star if you got that one. Number 500. 65, so okay. two, last one. One has a remainder. Do you have a remainder? Okay. It's 650 and six with a remainder of, so it's 656 remainder two. All right. Sideways because. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you're practicing your math facts. Um, if you're in my class, check and see if you have any assignments, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.